Hello, Intro to Computer Students. I'd like to talk with you about chapters 7 and 8 that you're working on this week. So, chapter uh, 7 is where I'll start, and I want to point out a couple things to you as I walk through the chapter with you. And the first thing is on page 327. At the bottom, it's an interesting ethics question about is it more efficient to take notes by hand or with a digital device? And I find it interesting and, and wondered your thoughts on this because I was always a note taker and that's how I learn best. To this day, that's how I learn best. Um, so when I got my Surface Pro tablet and took it to a conference last year, um, I actually used OneNote and my pen, my Surface pen, to take notes. So I'm handwriting them, but digitally storing them now, which I found um, very uh, helpful for me. Maybe you learn better typing your answers in. So it's kind of an interesting thing here um, about that laptops may distract more than they help with note taking. So just curious uh, what you kind of thought about that. I realize I don't have a place for you to post your thoughts, but just something for you to consider as you're going through the chapter. If you look on page um, 337, I'd like to point out the yellow box called Secure IT or Secure It 7-4 about securing your credit cards from scanning devices. Um, this just increases and increases more um, as we go through time with uh, hackers finding ways to get our credit card information. So pay attention to this box. Um, if you haven't figured it out yet, lots of your test questions kind of come from the side areas. I won't say a lot, but several of them might come from little side areas and maybe not the main typing area on your page. So consider this about uh, putting a something around your uh, credit card so somebody can't um, get information off of them, they can, they can get them off your card chips too. So just because you have a card chip, while well, that's supposed to make your credit card safer, um, people can still get information. So, so pay attention to that area. Um, in chapter 8 on page 372, I want you to uh, pay attention to the media sharing page, protecting your rights, um, things to consider when you're putting things up in the cloud. Um, you can get all that off of that page 372, so take a look at that real good. I know a lot of you put pictures up or maybe you use Facebook. I happen to use Shutterfly to put my pictures on. Um, so that, that's just something uh, to consider your security and privacy in any of those sites. Consider page 385, the how-to at the bottom, which is how to collect, select a storage cloud provider. Um, and, you know, as a student, you might not consider this very, very much as in you don't put too much thought into it. You get free OneDrive storage from Microsoft um, through Gaston College's um, offer of Office 365, which is free to students um, on our campus. So you might not think too much about where you put stuff, but as a business or even later in life as you graduate, you may really want to think about cloud storage. And some things you need to think about are, is the company reliable? Um, if the company got served a subpoena for data, does that, would that include your data that might be stored on a server with anybody else's data? So some things like that you might need to consider in the future. So um, Make sure you read through that and, and look at um, does the cloud back itself up? Whatever cloud storage provider you choose should also be making backups of data in case they lose your data. So that's a definite thing. Um, I also want to point out on page 390, you have a picture in the middle. One is a mirroring raid and one is called striping. Now, um, Pay attention to those pictures. I don't know how much these are talked about up in the RAID part, but you, but um, it's a technique of, of storage and backup for data. So pay attention to make sure you understand that that's in the RAID section and also by these pictures. So you have two um, pretty extensive chapters um, to cover this, uh, this chapter this week, sorry. 
Um, another one to pay attention to is on 395 about secure it for IT-8-4, keeping NFC transactions safe. Some think those are just safe just because they're only you have to be near somebody to get that material that that information. So you want to make sure you kind of read through that. Um, also, there's a little mini feature on backup plans. I know at the beginning of the semester I had you write a backup plan. Um, interesting enough, some of you uh, had good ideas but maybe didn't check out the lab hours on campus for sure or the library hours, wherever you go, always make sure you know the hours. If you're having to use someone else's computer, you want to make sure they have the software that you need. So um, good luck this week uh, studying these two chapters and good luck on your tests.